Hello friends! Today I'll be showing you how to use the command line to manage and sync files to and from Kufr and more. We'll be using Arclone, an open source command line tool. Arclone lets you sync, move, copy, and do other file operations on your Kufr files. You can use it to create backups of your data, add encryption to your files, and more. So if this sounds like something you might find useful, keep watching. Let's get started by downloading our clone. Down in the description, we've posted a link to the our clone website. Go there and download the appropriate version for your computer's operating system. I'm working with Windows 10, but the process should be similar for other operating systems too. So now that I've downloaded the Windows version, I'm going to unpack it. There is no installer. You need to extract all files in the archive to a chosen location. I suggest using a directory with a simple to remember path. It will make your life easier later on, promise. All right, we've extracted all the files. Here's what the destination folder looks like in my case. I'm going to rename this folder to just our clone to keep it simpler. Now, if I try to run the our clone application by clicking on it, the computer tells me that I need to run the application in command prompt or CMD. To open CMD, just click on Start and type in CMD, then click on Command Prompt. In CMD, type out or copy the full path to our clone, then press Enter to run the application. Now, before we continue, let's look at a few basic terms you need to know to work with our clone. A remote is a service or provider which you can connect to and configure using our clone. In our case, the Kufr service is the remote. When working with our clone, you will be executing commands. For example, copy, sync, crypt, etc. By typing in a command, we tell our clone what to do. Check the description for a full list of our clone commands with detailed descriptions. Finally, most commands will have a source and a destination. The source is the file you want to perform an operation on, and the destination is the directory or folder you want to send the source to. Okay, now let's set up a connection to Kufr in our clone. Type in our clone config and press enter to run the command. Assuming you haven't configured any remotes previously, this is what our clone will return. To configure a new Kufr remote, type in N, then press enter. Go ahead and give a name to your new remote. Our clone now gives us a list of storage services. Look for Kufr, then enter the corresponding number. In our example, this number is 27, but it could change in the future, so be sure to double check it. Then enter 1 to select Kufr itself. Now you'll be prompted to enter your Kufr username and then your password, but don't use your actual password for this. Instead, go to your Kufr account in your browser and generate an application-specific password instead. Go to Account Settings, Preferences, then click on Password. Enter a name for the new password, for example, our clone, then click Generate. Select and copy the password. Go back to the command prompt. First type in Y, then Paste the password and press enter. Do the same thing again to confirm it. Let's skip the advanced config for now. Enter N. Our clone now gives us a summary of our newly created remote. You can confirm it, delete it, or edit it further. If you're happy with it, go ahead and press Y. Now let's check if everything has been configured correctly. You can test the Rclone connection to Kufr by listing all the files or all the folders in your Kufr account. Use the ls command to list all files. Here's the syntax. Just make sure you're not forgetting the colon at the end. Or you can use lsd to list all the folders in your Kufr. Rclone has listed our folders, so that tells us that the connection is working. 
Let's say that we have a folder on our computer that we want to copy to our Kufa account using our clone. Here's how to do it. For the sake of this tutorial, we created a folder called test folder inside the R clone folder on our computer. In reality, you'll probably want to move or copy an existing folder, so you'll need the full path to the folder you're copying to do this. The command we're using is the copy command, which looks like this. It contains three main components. The source, which is the folder on your computer you want to copy, so in our case this is test folder. The remote, which we named Kufer earlier. And the destination folder, which is the location you want to copy to. In this example, we want to copy to the test folder Kufer folder, so we input that. You could also leave it blank after the colon to set your root folder on Kufer as the destination. Okay, now press enter and let it do its magic. And done! Let's switch to the web app to check. Alright, there's the test folder Kufer folder, and if you open it you can see what's been copied. There's much more you can do with our clone. For example, encryption, or mapping Kufer as a network drive. We'll be showing you how to do this in future videos. And in the meantime, you can find additional resources linked in the description. We hope you found this video helpful. Feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching!